Tips for creating rubrics. Here are some further tips when creating a rubric. When creating a rubric, think about your students, your context, and what your students most need to learn and are ready to learn. Use simple language with words your students will understand. For more mature audiences, try words like unsatisfactory and competent, or below standard and at standard. For younger learners, still learning, sometimes, and almost always, or even pictures such as one smiley face for one level, two smiles for the middle level, and three smiles for the highest level. Sometimes symbols can work even better than words. For example, using smiley faces or stars to illustrate levels of mastery. Writing quality definitions in the first person can often make them easier to read. This is especially true for younger learners. Two examples of this are, I speak and write in complete sentences, or I thoroughly assess the quality of information separating fact from opinion. This, in the first person, may be easier to understand than, for example, the student speaks and writes in complete sentences. Many educators find that the best wording for quality definitions are can-do statements. For example, I can write a short, simple postcard, or I can describe cultural situations from more than one perspective. Make sure you describe observable behavior. For example, you can observe a student explaining something but you cannot directly observe a student's comprehension of something. For this item, I understand why we are doing the project. What could the teacher observe to know that this is true? A better description might be this. I can explain why we are doing the project. When choosing levels of mastery and writing quality definitions, Make sure that the levels are distinguishable from one another. Sometimes words like few and some may be hard to distinguish. You may need to add some more information to make the difference clear. In these videos, we have discussed what rubrics are, how to create them for your context, and the benefits of using a rubric. Rubrics are useful because they help you grade. They help students understand the objectives and align the lessons with objectives. Rubrics are also useful because they can be adapted to any context to assess skills or assignments. They also help teachers articulate how and why a student received certain feedback. They encourage both teachers and students to be responsible for learning. Here are the references used for this topic. And here is some additional reading to learn more about rubrics.